fond of that kind of thing. That's the point of the basis. We are not. I had taken home sense, but now. You see, to the scale of the, 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 the net formula, right? A place where they need to be advised. We have this training here for teachers from various schools in uh, Nairobi and beyond, and basically for CBC competency based curriculum. And the essence of this training is to equip teachers with skills and competencies for effective facilitation of competence based curriculum. It is the bone of contention at the moment. Uh, you can see how the president, the current president, has moved in fully to ensure that this is effectively implemented. If we focused on placing our capitation in education sector in a correct way, the way I look at what the president is doing today and beginning to think widely about how to invest more in education, and he's already announced the, I mean the employment of 30,000 teachers. This is the first time I've ever had such a huge number. And if we go on with proper investment or in education, then we will not have the inadequacies we have at the moment. Uh, the suggestion to domicile junior secondary in, um, in primary school is a good thing, but at the same time, I, don't, I, I think it needs to be re-evaluated further. What we need to be focusing on more is ensuring that we equip our day schools so that we increase equity, access, and quality. Yes, junior second will be domiciled in uh, primary schools. There is access. There is possibility of equity. But the big question would be, will there be a, 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 mean a, a possibility of quality? But in as far as it's being domiciled there, I think it is very clear on who will teach in terms of teacher qualifications. And I'm, I'm certain that uh, the Teacher Service Commission is very keen on it. We should look at the remote school in Trukana, the remote school in, Truka, I mean, in Garissa. We need to look at the slum schools in Nairobi or in cities and see how that will be done very well. It is a very expensive exercise, yes, in terms of uh, infrastructure development, but of course, if we embrace the concept of sharing resources, schools can share resources. So we need to embrace the issue of shared resources, even between public and private. It doesn't mean that a teacher walking into a private school to teach French cannot get to the public school, so that we remove this gap of feeling that there are other children who benefit so well by going to the private school. We also need to reduce the gap between public and private. When I was asked to come and do this training here, I said, this is great because I wanted to really uh, acquaint myself with what happens at gravity. So such centers need to come up, possibly in every, every county, and that's why I said, or every sub-county, sorry, that's why I talked about the issue of shared resources. Because you can imagine, at this point, all those things I have mentioned, they are incorporated in one area. So I'll encourage schools that are around here, both public and private, counties to, to facilitate and even to support schools to come and hold their lessons here because that is one of the ways that we are going to bridge the gap between uh, the resources, of, the scarce resources available and the numbers of students required to use these resources. To the teachers who are outside there, I can say there is an opportunity uh, for you to prepare yourself. I will surely say you can only give what you have. So it is a new uh, upgrade of the of the system from our grade six, and it has not been there. So I believe the teachers are not equipped enough, and that's why you have such, such a forum uh, to equip the teachers with the necessary uh, skills and knowledge and attitudes to help them handle the runners in grade seven uh, as we progress. Uh, we have just started with the trainings. Uh, this is first, uh, the first uh, session of the training. There are others upcoming trainings. Maybe in the next two weeks we are going to have another one. After Christmas we are still going to continue the trainings uh, up to January. Uh, a teacher in CBC is a facilitator. So the, the, the child should be exposed to an enriched conducive environment that will help him or her nurture his or her potential to the fullest. At Gravity we are fully equipped to do so. And that's why we are having the, the teacher's training as well as equipping them with the the skills that they need to undertake the runners in the upcoming grade 7 program. There's no shortcut. The teachers need to prepare themselves. The system is new. Uh, no one has got an idea of what is going to happen. So unless they take the initiative to prepare themselves in advance on how to go to handle the runners, otherwise they are going to, to give the runners a raw deal 
when it comes to the implementation of the CBC curriculum, particularly in grade 7. I would like to recommend strongly that the teachers need to have continuous training and workshops to empower themselves to be better implementers of the CBC curriculum. However, the teachers need to make a lot of sacrifice together with school directors and heads to be able to create time and uh, have as many trainings as possible so that they are well empowered. As a director, before you are able to guide the team in the right direction, uh, you also need to understand what is expected. So I am here to gain knowledge that will help me steer the team in the right direction. We want our teachers to be able to implement CPC as it should be implemented or as it has been envisioned. We owe our children in Kenya a great deal of service and we are here to ensure that it is done right. For the two days training, it has been a wonderful uh, session and I'm grateful for those who have organized it. It has challenged us for the purpose of preparing junior secondary school and uh, for my fellow teachers who are out there, I think it is the high time you need to come and take a partake of this training for the purpose of uh, smooth running of uh, junior secondary school. Have uh, looked around. I have liked that they have um, physical demonstrations or models of, of various things and um, they have practical, they have items that demonstrate the practical um, uh, learning capabilities. So if you are talking about parts of the body, they have something that demonstrates what that part of the body looks like. In school they might only look at it from the book but this shows um, like a 3D kind of thing that would help the, ch the children relate more closely.